Hello, 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 my beautiful boss slaymates. It's me, Ikenishi, your favorite boutique consultant. And I am super excited about this video because I've never done an unboxing or unveiling video before. So um, I decided to do this for you guys. We're gonna talk about branding your shipping materials. Um, I was gonna do this for my boxes, but my boxes still haven't gotten here yet because uh, I was gonna do an experiment with those with you all on camera, but I'll just do that another time because I gotta get some stuff out. So we are going to talk about a couple of things. First, <laughs> hey Kyra, sorry, I'm looking at my baby. He's seven months old today, y'all. Can y'all believe that? My baby is seven months today. Yes, boo-boo. <laughs> okay, so as you all know, a lot of people always want to know where can I get my poly mailers branded. <clears throat> So there's a bunch of different websites. I will leave different websites in the description box, but there is one that I use and I actually just did a small order, like a sample order, just so you all can see what it would be like if you all did like a sample order. So the site that I use whenever I do want to use branded poly mailers is Sticker Mule. And I think they are the bomb.com. They offer a lot of things that are branded or that you can put your logo on or whatever you want to use. Um, make sure you all do go to their website. They are awesome. Uh, use my link in the description box so we can both get some discounts. Yeah, Cairo, tell them. They need to use my link in the description box. So after this video, if you like what you see, be sure to go to that link so we can both get some discounts. So before I show you all Sticker Mule, I want to show you all this. If you are someone who cannot afford to purchase these, which they're not that bad of a price. Um, I actually kind of forgot what I paid for these. But um, if you're someone who can't afford it, there's numerous things you can do. Hold on, let's get Cairo situated. Okay, yeah, so there's numerous things you can do. First, this is the best thing you do. I'm just going to do the one. So I tell this to everyone, get these shipping labels from Avery. If you are not familiar with different types of labels that you need for your business or that you can use for your boutique business or any business that requires shipping or tags or um, any business that requires labels, period. I have a video all about labels. So check that link in the description box as well so you can watch that, it's super short. I literally just show you the aisle of all labels in my local Office Depot. You can go to Office Depot, Office Max, Staples, whatever it is in your town. But this is the one that I'm going to show you that I did of what I'm gonna do. So there's something specific that I really wanna do. I'm gonna try it out with y'all today. We're gonna see how it, work, how it turns out, whatever. But this is one thing that I did. So I have these white bubble mailers, never used them. If anybody wants them, let me know. Um, you'll just have to pay for me to ship them to you. I got probably about 50 or 60 or 70 of them, I don't know, but I didn't, I don't, I don't need bubble mailers. I um, got them from, well, I don't remember where I got them, but whatever, not important. Okay, so this is what I did to them. It looks like it's printed with my boutique name. So there it is, right? Doesn't it look like it was printed? It's just regular little bubble mailer. And it looks like it was printed with that, but it is not. I just bought these labels from Office Depot. They are the full sheet shipping labels. They do say shipping labels, but I did not use them for shipping. I use them for my logo, which you can do. And I will show you how to do that later on in the video. So that is one thing you could do if you are boutiquing on a budget. There we go. You got some plain bubble mailers, which are super cheap. You can get them from eBay, Amazon, um, wherever, <laughs> and then get your labels, print them out at home, and boom, stick them up here. But I do recommend only doing this on white bubble mailers. And um, once I do my experiment later on in the video, we will see if I am correct in my thinking. Okay, so this is the sticker mule. This is how it came. I did not open it. So here we go, sticker mule, custom stickers and all the other stuff that you get. Um, it comes in a little cute little brown um, bubble mailer. So we're going to open this together and see how it looks. I'm scared to cut it. We'll see. <laughs> oh, Cairo has wrapped myself up in a little blanket. Let me make sure I'm not cutting into anything. Let's just cut the very tip off. 
If I cut some, y'all, I'm going to be so mad. Okay. It says, open now for some sticker joy, courtesy of your friends at Sticker Mule. Kid. That's funny. It says, custom printed stickers that kick ass. Because they have a, a mule, donkey, and, you know. <laughs> okay, so let's take this stuff out. So what I did, I got some um, white mailers. I don't normally use white poly mailers, but for the sake of this video, that's what I ordered. And then I also ordered a few stickers because I want to send some out in my PR packages. Uh, so I had never gotten the stickers before. We're going to see how these look. Okay, so let's see. Uh-uh, Cairo. Cairo's about to climb out of his seat, y'all. Hold on. Hello, boss slave mates. As usual, I had to interrupt the video to let you all know something. But this time, this is something you all definitely want to know. So those of you who have been following me for a while know that one of my favorite places to go, especially when it comes to shopping for my boutique, is Atlanta Apparel. And I was supposed to have had a collaboration video with them this past April, but COVID hit and it messed us up, y'all. So <clears throat> I will be at Atlanta Apparel October 14th and 15th. If you all would like to attend with me, you will get to walk around with me, see how I talk to vendors, grow relationships, how I buy from my boutique. You can see the new things that are going to be coming out for spring and summer. All of that, if you want to walk around with me for one day or two days, there will be a link in the description box for you to check that out. There is a very small fee. Like I said, it's very small. I am only allowing 15 people a day to walk with me. I already have my members in my membership who have already claimed some spots. When I mean claim, they have already paid for some spots. So head on over to the link in the description box, get your spot reserved and get your hotel room set and everything else and join me and my other boss slay mates at Atlanta Apparel in October. See you guys there. All right. So since he was climbing out of his seat, <laughs> I got him up here. So say hi, seven month old Cairo. Say hi, Bookie. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So since he's all in the camera, okay. So they always send you a little sticker. So this is their sticker. Cute. You can stick that. And then they have their little mascot sticker. That's super cute. And they also do coasters, which I'm thinking about getting just because I just like coasters. So <laughs> they send you, um, basically they're just sending you samples in case you want to order. But I actually did order my own stickers. So I didn't even really need that sample this time. I know Cairo, no, 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 no. You can't have the sticker. So I'm going to show you all first what my poly mailer looks like. It's super cute. I like it. I did not mean to be that loud. <laughs> Cairo, we gotta sit you down, buddy. I need you to sit down, okay? There we go, no, 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 no. All right, so here we go, it has my, this is cute, y'all, I redid it. I like it. So it has my boutique's name, it has my um, slogan up under it, which you all know is anyone can be basic, but we make you slay. And then I have my website and my Instagram up there. So this is how it turned out. Hold on, I cannot, let me see if I can hold it better. So y'all can see. It's actually, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I ordered the wrong size. But it's okay. And my husband's calling me. But yeah, here we go. You all can see how all that looks. This, I mean, this is really, really good. I love how vibrant the Instagram logo turned out. So I'm going to see if you all can see that. Let me fold it so you all can see. Being I'm holding the baby. Okay. Hope y'all can see it. I can't tell if y'all can see it. But yeah, so that's the little Instagram logo. So I did design this myself. Super easy. You just go into Canva and it will tell you the dimensions that you need um, to use to design them. And I will go in and see what size I order and let you all know in the description box what size I order because I can't remember. But um, I already, you know, I already have my purple poly mailers that I use all the time. But I did want to use some uh, that were branded, you know, like if I'm sending out something for an uh, influencer or something and she may open it on camera, I want my logo to be seen. And then, um, so I, I'm, I am actually going to send something to someone today. 
So yeah, so this is what it looks like. And then on this side, I will stick the shipping label. And these are my stickers. I can't really open them right now because Cairo's in my arms. And I don't want to cut him. Woo! Cut him with the scissors. Woo! He's about to spit up. So here's the stickers. You all know I call my customers sleigh mates. So there they are. They are super cute. I hadn't ordered stickers before. So I just always ordered late um, mailers. So I'm going to try to open this. Even though he's still trying to grab it. No, bookie boo. I need to send you with your sister. Okay, so let's see if we can open this, y'all. I tell you, the joys of motherhood, y'all. Mm, I got nails and I can't even, still can't open this. Cairo, no. Y'all, once he hit like six months or six and a half months, he is into everything. Like, my gosh, into everything. My daughter, I think she was like this. I can't even remember. All right, there we go. It's really good quality. It's like a, it feels like it's rubber, but it's not. I don't know what this is, but it's great. So here it is outside of the package. I'm actually going to keep one for myself. I'm probably going to stick it on my laptop or something. But um, yeah, I'm going to give these out when I do my PR boxes. And I'll also send one to the influencer, well, not influencer, but person that I want to send something to as well. So I love these. These are pretty cool. Um... I love the stickers and I love the mailers. So I do recommend you all doing Sticker Mule. And if you can't do that, then once again, I just showed you a budget way that you could do it. So now we're going to do my little experiment. We're gonna see if this works. I'm gonna do something, uh, you all will see. And I'm gonna show you how to go into the Avery website to make the labels um, because I have to do that for the experiment. All right, so see you all in a second. You're gonna see my phone now, okay? All right, so this is what you need to do in order to print out your labels or whatever it is that you're getting or have gotten rather from Avery. So um, I just always just go to Google. It's easier for me. And you go to Avery.com. And yes, you all are looking at this from my phone. I literally do everything from my phone. So the website looks very similar. If you do not have an account, I suggest creating one. So that way you can save all of your projects. I, of course, already have an account. So I don't have to do what I'm going to tell you to do. So when you get to the website, you're going to want to see their free templates and designs. So you can either just click on search or you can click on, um, I think it's going to say free templates and designs or something um, on the home page. And the box had the number 5165. So when you search for that, wait, I'm sorry, this is just... Um, Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's the product. This is the template. So, it was the little shipping. Wait, wait, is this the right one? Hold on. Okay, yeah, I'm right. I want to make sure. Okay, yeah, so 5165. And then you just click on Start Designing. And then you will um, design it. Now, if you are like me, my font for both of my main businesses cannot be found on regular websites. Those fonts were purchased. As you all know, I have let you all know in other videos where I get my fonts from. If you want to know, there will be a link in the description box and you can see where you can get fonts. And, oh, that was Cairo sneezing. Bless you. Um, yeah, where you can get fonts and other things of that nature. So what I have to do, I have to actually make my design in Canva and then I will upload my artwork, which you can see right up under the start designing. It says upload your artwork. So that is what I have to do. But since I already have a project already, I am just going to go to my projects and um, get it from there. So my projects and it is this full sheet shipping label. I'm going to open it. So this is literally all I did. Like I said, it is a clear shipping label. But I'm not using it for shipping, obviously. You all saw what I am going to use it for. But I'm going to use it for something different. I hadn't done this before, so this is going to be a first-time thing. So y'all are going to see me do it. So here we go. So you um, design it however you want. And then when you're done with it, you will then print it. So you can either print the PDF, you can save it, all that fun stuff. I am actually just going to print mine. 
real quick. I am walking to my printer right now. Why is this not? What is this doing? Whoops. Okay, let's go back. All right, let's save it first, which is already saved, but we'll save it anyway. Cairo, stop doing that. Okay, yeah, I should be able to print it now. What is this doing? Normally, hmm. Oh, I went to the wrong thing. Okay, you go up here. <laughs> I'm thinking about the um, desktop version. Wait, that should be it. You're supposed to be able to click right there and it should print. Not sure what this is doing today. All right, there we go. I figured out what my problem was. My problem was that I was in Google and not in my actual uh, internet browser. So when you're on your phone, it's going to ask you if you want to download it. So I'm just going to download it. I want you to download it and then I'm going to open it and print it. So there it is. And that is what it's going to look like. And so now I'm going to click print and my printer is wireless, which is why I'm able to do everything from my phone to my printer. So let's click print and I have then after it prints, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. It's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully if it turns out the way I want it to turn out, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so this is how it came out. Here it is. Can't tell if y'all can see it, I think so. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> I'm actually going to put this, being that it's clear, I'm going to put this on my clear bags. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to, um, first I'm going to cut this out I'm not gonna use the whole sheet now if you want to you can this is what I did on the bubble the white bubble mailer I just peeled the whole thing off and stuck it up there but when I did another little experiment um, I don't have it over here but um, I did something else just to test it out and I actually just cut um, what I printed out and cut it off and it turned out just fine too so I'm going to cut this real quick and then I'm going to stick it on the bag and we're gonna see how this turns out. So let's cut this off real quick and see what happens. So I have been wanting to, you know, get my own branded poly bags, like the little clear bags. And then I just so happened upon this idea. So I wanted to show you all that there are numerous ways for you all to get branded things without having to spend a bunch of money when you're a beginner because as you all know and I preach all the time your money is a tool for your business and you don't have a whole lot of it to waste when you are a beginner sorry my I have a um, lazy Susan in the middle of my table and my tripod keeps moving for whatever reason <laughs> okay so um, I have my bag I'm going to peel this off and then stick it on the bag so you can actually just peel the back off you see it has a little adhesive thingy so you're going to peel it off this might be a little hard because i cut into it so we're going to see so i'm just going to there we go so one little piece already came off so it comes off in pieces by the way and whenever i'm working with poly mail or poly bags by the way y'all i always put a shirt down on my table um i don't feel like i need to show y'all how to stick something onto a bag I mean, if you need that much hand holding, something's wrong. So I'm just gonna get this and stick it. So this is how it is, it's clear now. I'm gonna stick it on my bag. Yeah, Kyra. Do I wanna do it this way or that way? Okay. Okay, I am putting it on my bag. Okay, so let's see. So it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out because even though it's clear, it's not clear, clear. 
So this is another reason why I said using the white bubble mailers is better because even though these say that they are clear and it looks clear on this box, when you put it on something else that's clear or even when I tried it on my purple poly mailer, it didn't look right. It tends to look better on white and I'm going to show you why. So here's how it turned out. I'm not going to use this bag because now I don't like the way it looks. So. So now you can see it doesn't look like it's printed on like it does with this. See, you can't really see if I bring it really, really close. You still can't see the line. So I recommend, I'm very upset about this because I really wanted this to work. But Kyra, what are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, this doesn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. But if you have... Um, white bags I do suggest doing this but uh not for your clear bags that you put your product in so yeah it is what it is all right so I know you all have been waiting and wondering about the private label video that is coming out I promise I'm just waiting to get my stuff in so whenever that comes in I will record a video and show you guys but I don't want to do a video until I get my own stuff and then you all can see it on my product. So whenever that comes, I can't give you a date. That is when I'm going to do it. All right. So um, my next video, I want to talk about uh, Instagram boutiques, Instagram boutiques and a note about that. There is no such thing as an Instagram boutique. I want y'all to know that like because people keep saying it. A boutique has a website. All these places have websites. And then they have their business on Instagram. There's no such thing as an Instagram boutique. All of these boutiques have websites. So they're just boutiques. They're not Instagram boutiques. Okay. But anyway, video I'm going to be doing. I'm going to tell you all. I've done this in the live already. But I feel like I need to reiterate some of this stuff. We're going to talk about the truth about Instagram boutiques. I'm going to give, give you all some hard truths, some takeaways, some need to know, some tough love, all of that. Because there's a lot that keeps coming to my inbox. And I just feel like we need to discuss it because y'all already know i'm i'm real i'm raw i'm gonna tell you how it is and that's it so yeah so make sure you all give this video a like a thumbs up whatever you want to call it share this subscribe to my channel turn on the notification 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 bell when you all um subscribe so that way you all will know when i post my next videos and also make sure you all check out that link that i was discussing earlier if you want to attend atlanta apparel with me um, for one or two days i will be there for two days and you all can see how i do things and you can also most likely get discounts from certain vendors who are connected to me all right you guys see you next video bye